What's wrong with this picture? Not really sure? Let me show you again. I'm planting a rose, but that's not the problem. Think you're starting to get it? Okay, one more look. The problem is I'm planting it under trees, and I'm in the shade. And according to the overbloated Book of Rose Care, sponsored by your local chemical company, planting a rose in shade is illegal. Actually, it's not illegal, by the way. I've done it before, and even Alex doesn't hear how doesn't have a problem with it. But the key to understanding about planting a rose in lower light conditions or shade, ready to get down? Okay. Is to understand what we mean by the term full sun. If the rose gets sun from sun up till about noon, maybe one o'clock, I consider that full sun. And the rose will be happy there. Almost any rose will be happy there. Now, full sun is not only sun in the afternoon. So if it's in the shade in the morning and then gets sun from midday till sundown, I don't consider that full sun, and I have yet to find a rose that's going to be happy in those conditions. So remember, full sun is preferred for roses, which is all day long, but if your rose only gets morning sun, like an eastern-facing wall, for example, consider that to be full sun. Now, I know Gertrude Stein said a rose is a rose is a rose, but I'll grant you she never met a hybrid musk, because one of the things to planting roses in lower light conditions is this. Certain classes do better than others. The hybrid musk is one of the first classes that most people point to when they're looking for roses that are a little bit more shade tolerant. The other class that I have found works really well for me is the polyantha class. This is an underused, underappreciated class of roses in my opinion. That's a shout out to Jim Delahante who knows so much about them. They are a great class of roses. The hybrid musk will make bigger shrubs, the polyantha will make smaller shrubs, they bloom continuously all year long and they are very, both very versatile to handing lower light conditions. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take this rose, I'm going to plant it in this dappled light condition, but I'm going to show you a little tip on how to get the rose acclimated to discover if that particular rose is going to like where you're thinking about putting it. And it starts by digging a hole about as big as this pot. There's my hole. Now, I've only dug a hole about as big as the pot, no bigger, and I'll tell you why in just a little bit. But let me leave you a couple more things. First of all, remember when we talked about the classes of roses that do better in lower light, the hybrid musks and the polyanthus, for example? Here's another little tip for you. The less petals on a rose flower, the better that rose has of making it in lower light conditions. Let me just say that again. Less petals, the better chance it has of making it in lower light conditions. Obviously, also pick a disease-resistant rose because you've got some stress from disease in lower light conditions. You don't have that full sunlight to dry the foliage off and all that kind of stuff. Now, the other thing I want to talk about is what do we mean by shade or lower light conditions. Okay, I don't mean full shade. I don't mean dark full shade. I mean dappled light, like I've got under these hardwood trees here, where some sunlight will hit this spot occasionally, but maybe not all the time. So remember that. It's dappled light. It's not necessarily deep, dark shade. Roses aren't going to be happy there. Those are shade-tolerant plants, like hostas, or be going to what you want there. So, here's my little tip. Now, I don't know if this rose is going to be happy here. I don't know if I have enough dappled light. Do I have the wrong kind of dappled light? So rather than plant the rose directly in the ground out of its pot and stress it out, I'm going to do this. I'm going to leave it in the pot. I'm going to set the pot in the ground. I put it in the hole so it doesn't blow over. And that's it. I'm going to leave it. Now, here is where your gardener's instincts come into play. Because all you're going to do with this rose is watch it. And if the rose starts to grow and it continues to bloom, and if it looks happy, and you know if a plant is happy, then you've got a great spot. Then all you got to do is go ahead and pull it out of the pot and plant it permanently. If it's not happy, it starts to sulk, it doesn't bloom, you don't get a lot of new growth, well, then all you got to do is pull the rose right out of the ground, it's still in the pot, try it somewhere else, maybe five feet away or something like that. So that's the key that I have discovered to doing that. Keep it in the pot, leave the pot in the ground, watch the rose, trust your instincts on that one. So let's talk about this again. Yes, you can plant a rose in lower light conditions, not deep shade, Dappled sunlight works. What is full sun? Half a day, at least, as long as it's morning sun. All roses like complete sun, 12, 14 hours. But if it gets morning sun, you're okay. If it only gets afternoon sun and it's in the shade in the morning, I find, personally, it's not going to be very, very happy. So you can do roses in lower light conditions. Pick the right class, hybrid musk, polyantha, or roses with less petals. Slip it in the pot, put the pot in the ground, and keep an eye on it.